Hey, 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 everybody. This is Captain Yeet here for you for another My Hero Academia Manga Chapter Reaction Slash Review. This is going to be My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 414 titled Overlay. So, let's get into it. We were supposed to get a chapter last week, but we never get that. We, for, it, it, well, we weren't on break. It said it was like an unexpected break. So, I guess something happened to Horikoshi or Horikoshi was like, I need to take some more time on this chapter. So, it was just a random break. So I was waiting for the chapter like forever. I was like, where's the chapter? It wasn't supposed to be a brick last week, but here we are this week. <laughs> so uh, let's get into it. And the very first panel looks dope. It's the, I mean, it's, it's, it's the same thing we got from last week with Deku and that like Venom Spider-Man type pose jumping at Sigaraki with Black Whip over his mouth, his face, his arms and some tenders coming out of his back. And we get this one text box off to the side that's huge. Like there's a lot of words inside of it. I guess let's read it and figure out what's going on. <laughs> There's a lot of words inside of it. Uh, we also get like another panel off to the side that shows like a different angle of Deku's body. Because his whole t-shirt is like ripped off. And the black whip like markings are like on his chest, his sides and everything. And yeah, like I guess this is going to leave a mark. Because it left a mark on his arm when he used black whip inside of his body. And he's, it looks like he's doing it even more now. And, and the little black markings is just everywhere. <laughs> they are just everywhere. Um, Deku was acting weirdly. Oh, it's a recap. This is a recap of the last chapters. Defeating Sigaraki will bring an end to this war. When faced with his overwhelming decay and regeneration, Deku can't hold a candle. Oh, no, sorry. Hold a, hold a max. Uh, the second user proposed a hit or miss gambit, transferring one for all to Sigaraki, causing a mental strike. Will Deku be able to let go of this generational power? It made the panel. Uh, we, well, I guess we're not going to cut back to it. Remember, we Cero and Ojiro are on a bridge fighting villains. But none of the main villains that we know are there. So, like, you know, Dobby wasn't there uh, twice. Mr. Compressed, nobody of note was there. So that's probably why we never went to it. I remember there was, like, one chapter where we just randomly got a little box that said they were on a bridge fighting villains. But I doubt we're going to cut back over to it now. And yeah, that that uh, that you know, transferring one for all, or well, all the quirks one by one over to him, it made somewhat sense because Sigaranki would get the drawback, so his body would get weakened, and Deku wouldn't lose the actual power power of one for all, like you know, the strength. He'll just lose like you know, the extra abilities like Black Whip, Smoke Screen, uh, all the other stuff. He'll lose that, but he won't lose he won't lose the actual strength. It was sucks. Hopefully, he can get them back. Or something like that. That would be kind of cool. Hopefully he doesn't lose them all. Hopefully they don't die. But my headcanon. I was going to make a theory video. I don't know if I showed in that. My, but my headcanon was thinking. If he does transfer them all. We'll get to see all the past one for all users. Fight Sigaraki. Inside the vested space. While Deku was also fighting Sigaraki. In the outside world. So while they're mentally fighting him in the head. He's getting weaker in the real world, so Deku's like fighting him, he's keep Sigaraki's keeping up with him. Then like, you know, whatever happens in the vestige world happens. And Sigaraki gets weakened and Deku's like, Bah like, you know, he's able to get another good strike in. You know, that that, that was my head cannon. But obviously that's a pretty big gamble because Sigaraki could be able to use that quirk, so that that'd be pretty bad. <laughs> that'd be that'd be pretty bad. <laughs> let's let's continue though. Uh Banjo. He's using Black Whip to move his exhausted body right into action after hearing the plan. This is Smokescreen Guy talking. And what a way to use the quirk. Second user, he's doing great. <laughs> we get a flashback panel to the first war when he was fighting Sigaraki. No matter what happens to me, that's what this power is for. The second user, he doesn't just follow orders the way he admires each and every quirk. Makes one for all sign much brighter. Sigaraki so starting to fly in towards him. 414 overlay. We get an inner dialogue. I'll need to max Sigaraki's speed without Gearsif's help. And then transfer the second to him. I have no choice. But I but to bet on it. Sorry. For, wait, how's he gonna transfer it? Did he ever say that last chapter? I honestly forgot if they said how to do that last chapter. Sigaraki got smoke screen. No, no, no. Sorry. The fourth user is danger sense because, you know, he took it. But how does Deku give it? I mean, I know Oma, you know, gave the hair and I guess trick him to eat the hair. I don't know. 
How would he do that? I guess I guess we'll see. I, I just realized that. Like, how would he give it to Sakuraki? I mean, the hair thing. Other than that, I don't know. Um, Nina Maxim, I have no choice to bet on it. Uh, for all for one to get transferred to you. Oh, yeah, okay. That's how it is. Yeah, right there. Um, for all for one to get transferred, the user has to willingly give uh, some DNA, some of the DNA. Really doesn't matter how, as long as you get the DNA. One for all can be transferred if the holder wills it to be. Uh, giving on, it can be given to an unwilling recipient. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. The second user, me and Bruce theorized about this and even tested how nonsensical we're still bound to this mission even after death. I'll drop my blood into his wounds. Okay, that makes sense, but um, Sigaraki wounds heal. So I might as well just drop into his mouth, right? I'll make more sense, you know, <laughs> because his wounds can, unless you're doing it like that split second, but it'll be more easier to do it to his mouth. Pause. <laughs> uh, but Sigaraki keeps, yeah, Sigaraki keeps healing himself. He has no wounds. I have to do it right when I strike. You're making this too complicated. Do it in his mouth. Pause. You know, just do it. Just throw it in his mouth. Pause. Why are you like, you know, like you like said, you have to do it in that split second that the wound is still visible before it heals. You know, that, that, that is like almost impossible. <laughs> just, you know, like, God, boom. Like, you know, just do that. <laughs> you know, and how does he choose which specific quirk? Because, because he... He's not supposed to be transferring all of one for all. He's supposed to be transferring one quirk at a time, specifically just gear shift. I guess you can just choose, okay, only gear shift. I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess. Um, anyway, I'm about to pass out due to recoil. I can't afford to miss. Sigaraki's standing there midair, and he's like thinking. Next panel. That attack right now felt weird. So I cut off my own hand before he could hit me. Oh, this is a Garaki talk. He's planning something. His body is overtaken by pain and it's hard to breathe. Anyone in their right mind will be focusing on protecting their own life. Anyone in their right mind, huh? Then so be it. I'll just keep destroying you, this country, everything. They both start to fly towards the ground. Sigaraki, you know, trying to activate Mount Fuji. I will transfer it. Kill you. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, no way! That is crazy! <laughs> Yo! Next panel is a double page spread, and we see a huge chunk of the ground getting uprooted from Deku. So I guess Sigaraki was going to get there first, and he was like, No! And he threw the ground. He was gonna touch, it. and he's using the fog gen plus black whip change. This is cool. <laughs> this is adult double big spread. Oh my goodness, Deku is ridiculous. But let me read what is happening. <laughs> um, he uses smoke screen. Uh, the smoke screen user. My smoke screen is the least useful. Why? If I activate the K, any plan will be for not. You'll, uh, you'll fail to protect. He touched the ground. Such a huge chunk of the... Wait. Uh, I, I like double page spreads because they can do a lot of cool stuff. But at the same time, it's like kind of hard to you know, tell what's, what's going on. He tore out such a huge chunk of the ground to prevent me from spreading. But when? When he was sent flying back then. He sent the black chains on the ground to tear out parts of the ground. He was just waiting to use it. He j what? And Sigaraki thinking back to just like in the UA cage he was in whenever he tried to use the K will shoot him out. What? I don't know. I gotta go back. If we see a flashback panel where we see some of the black whip chains go on the ground, but wouldn't they be visible this whole time? Because they flew up in the sky and everything and they were gone. So you can just like disconnect black chains and hold them there and then reconnect them. Cause his black chains, like there wasn't like a long black whip coming out of his back this whole time, was there? I can't remember, you know, it's been like two weeks, so I can't remember, but 
That's kind of wild that it's been like that this whole time. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Um, Segaraki, they get sentenced, goes off, and he grabs something. Oh, it's just the cape. The same decoy he used against the sniper. But search lights. So when he's here. So he disintegrates the cape. And there's like a black form with a little bit of light inside of it coming towards Sigaraki. Blood? Search um, reacted to blood. Wait. That light's not Midoriya? So where is he? Oh, I get it. Too slow. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Deku comes out of nowhere with a mean punch ready. So, Sarx reacts to anyone the user lays eyes on. So I gambled. I can see. Oh, we get a flashback panel of, of Sagaraki saying, I can see you there, ghost. Once the chance, it'll react to the users too. And my DNA is filled with the second user's vestige. By blocking his field of vision, I created an opening. And we see Deku in the background, shooting out Black Whip with the cape. Sagaraki disintegrated the cape. And while in that split second, Deku rushes in, pulls back Black Whip, and that's when he came in for the punch. I used the fact that he's seeing me against him. And the smoke screen allowed me to go for a delayed surprise, a surprise attack. And then we get a flashback panel of Deku and Bakugo talking. Huh? No. I'm sorry he had an awesome, I'm sorry he had awesome quirks. The way he admired each and every quirk. Ninth, and he's starting to cry. Because he's actually using his smoke screen to really good effect. And the knife was saying like crazy the last chapter that his quirk sucks. So let him be the one to transfer, you know, his quirk sucks. And he just, he values every single quirk. You know, he's quirkless, so. He will value even against the lamest quirks. And the knife uses, I mean, sorry, not the knife. The smoke screen uses crying because he's using his quirks so well. And in this panel, Sigaraki is starting to use the morphing thing again. Because his, that, remember that huge Hulk form he had during the UA fight in the cage? And his hand, he had like hands everywhere like this in the Hulk form. But whenever his body started to mutate because of the singularity, his body would regulate to um, counteract it. He's starting to do that again. I didn't think he can just do that on a whim. But Deku's coming in for a mean punch. And he's starting to like form those hands around him again. Sigaraki so says, my body is trying to react. This, I can't let him hit me. <laughs> and we see a little light on his fist. Sigaraki so tries to touch Deku's face. But he ducks. And Deku punches him right in the chest. Ooh, but it looks like Sigaraki was able to just skin his head, and he's bleeding from his head now. Don't worry about it. I've always been just a ghost. My consciousness is fading away, so before I get absorbed by Sigaraki, it breaks all of his finger defenses. Sigaraki's body's like doing jerking back, so that punch got him good, and he's gonna go flying. And we get to see the vestige world. Oh, I think it worked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't even realize he just said the consciousness. Can we see the building ball that he was talking about and that that, that um, Tenko's trapped in. We see that. And we see like a little bit of light flying towards it. So Sigaraki's shocked. What's, well, like, what's going on? Deku's breathing heavy. What is happening? What? <laughs> Next panel, we see a gigantic Dobby and Toga right behind him. What is going on? In person, you're super gross. Dobby, Toga, this hand, I mean, this hands guy is Mr. Staney's friend, right? I want to join too, your league of villains. Why is this on all these flashbacks? Oh, are they in the Vestage world? Why would Deku be in there too? I don't know, let me, let me keep reading, let me keep reading. This is getting interesting. Uh, obviously, Deku's like, what the heck? Huh? And then we cut over to a um, memory of Deku's when he was fighting um, Todoroki in the, in the festival. Want to be a hero too? What the? And his, his spinner is right behind him. 
I'm only here because Stain inspired me to take action. The Sports Festival, my fight against Todoroki Toon, Spinner, what's going on? Your memories are blending together. Knife, don't stop. The sixth, it's working. The second did it, but it's still not enough. Huh? You have to keep going. Keep transferring the users. 414 end. And there's like another glowing light on his hand. So I'm guessing Neko's gonna like keep punching and each punch he's gonna transfer. And okay. So when he does this, it blends their minds together somewhat so they can see each other's memories. And that's just one of the memories. And Deku's gonna transfer another quirk and obviously just keep going until he passes out. And then they'll probably end the battle inside the Vestige World. So they'll probably both be inside the Vestige World. So probably like so we probably got like another maybe one chapter. The next chapter's long. We probably got like another two chapters of them actually fighting fighting. So he can keep transferring and punching him. And then like the you know, after the next two chapters, after their physical fight's done, then we get the mental fight. Well they can still fight physically, but you know, We'll be inside the Vestage world for the rest of it. But for the next like two chapters, it's going to be a physical fight. And then the next chapter after that will be the mental fight inside the Vestage world and stuff. Because both their bodies will be done by that point. Because of the blowback and everything on Sigaraki plus Deku, both their bodies will be done. So, yeah. That was pretty interesting. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> so, then memories are blending together. So that, that's pretty cool. Huh. I don't know. There is a picture. There's a picture I've been waiting to use on a thumbnail for the longest. It's that one volume. I forget. It's the volume where Deku... Or I, I, don't, I don't know if it's a volume cover, but it's a picture her Kosuke did of Deku and Sigaraki both reaching out their hands like this and on each side. I'm like, that looks cool, but that doesn't mean they're fighting. That's like, he did that after the whole Vestige World joke. So I'm like, whenever they do the Vestige World thing again in the manga, I'm going to make a thumbnail with that picture. And this seems like that would be a good time. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe next chapter when they actually start to blend their minds even better. Yeah. Uh, thumbnail. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be Deku and Sigaraki on both sides. And then whoever else in the middle, then we'll keep it going. Whew. But this is, this is getting good. This is getting really good. I've been waiting for this chapter for so long. Because we had that random break last week. But finally, we're back into it. This is good though. This is good. Man, I can't wait. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Thank you all for watching. I think you all ever be a wonderful human beings, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. All right.